Hey everybody. It is really cold outside and there's a lot of snow on the ground. But it's time to get thinking about what to plant and getting things ready to plant so we can start getting some seedlings in a few months. Today I'm going to walk you through the tools that I use for a seed starting method called winter sowing. Right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So here are all the tools I use for my winter sewing. I of course have my container which is uh, distilled water containers. Um, you can also use milk jugs. Um, any sort of tall and wide plastic container will do. You want ones that have a narrow top though, those work best. Um, so container. Then you need something to put holes in said container because you want drainage. Drainage is very important. And so I use a soldering iron. You can pick these up in any electrical part of a um, big box store or a uh, home supply store. It's just a typical soldering iron. And I do this outside because when you're melting plastic, you get all those fumes. Uh, but I put five holes in the bottom. And I also put one hole, this one kind of got big, I might tape that up and do redo it, but you put one hole um, in two sides about an inch up. That way when your soil is start, is frozen and it's starting to thaw, um, the, the thawed part will be able to shed the water while it's still frozen on the bottom. So these two holes are very important on the top. Then of course you have your tape. I use Gorilla Tape. I've used this for years. Um, a lot of people get away with using the dollar store tape and some of the cheaper stuff, but for me, uh, this works the best at making sure it holds a good seal to keep this taped when you get ready to go. Also, you want to have marking utensils. And uh, this is uh, a painter's pen. This is from Elmer's. Um, I get these at Walmart there. You can get them at Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby might even have them. You can order them online, but you want to get uh, painter's pens and not your Sharpie marker. These guys will fade um, within a few weeks of these being outside. Uh, even though they'll say non-fade on them, they do fade. So get yourself uh, some paint pens. Um, I like to use the fine tip. You can do medium tip but I would not recommend wide because that tends to smear and really make a mess. I also need plant labels. Not only are you going to mark on the outside what you're planting, but on the inside you're going to have labels as well in case the outside does fade. So it's a, it's a definite foolproof system to make sure you have these marked. What I like to use for the inside, you could use the painter's tape, but I use a label maker <clears throat> and uh, I can get their, uh, I, this is a brother and I get the refills really cheap on Amazon but I find they work very well very clear easy to read and when you're done with them you can simply peel them off like so and then you can put a brand new label on it so that's awesome so that's that and then of course you need your seeds and your dirt my dirt was too big to bring inside but I'll show you guys a picture of the dirt I use it's called happy frog by Fox Farms it's an organic potting mix uh, very high quality um, it's somewhat expensive but overall it's actually pretty cheap when you consider um, everything you put into this jug, I did the math, and uh, I'll put the math in the description box below. But when I did the math of how much it cost for me to do all this with one jug, um, it cost me about 75 cents to have one jug planted with anywhere from like 50 seeds to maybe just five tomato plants. 
but 75 cents for one jug. So overall, it's, it's very cheap to grow organic seedlings this way. So this is the tools, and I will show you later on a step-by-step -step approach on how I'm doing the actual winter sowing this year. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.